please do not pick up a case unless it's a slam dunk. Welcome back to our channel. Is Lil Durk facing serious consequences after a shocking revenge plot against Quando Rondo is exposed? Stay tuned as we uncover the details behind his federal custody situation and what this means for the Chicago rap scene, where we dive deep into the most compelling stories in hip hop today. In a shocking turn of events, rapper Lil Durk has found himself in federal custody amid an alleged revenge plot against fellow artist Quando Rondo. What led to this situation and what does it mean for Durk's future and his career? Stick around as we break down all the details. To understand the current situation, we need to take a step back. Lil Durk and Quando Rondo have been embroiled in a highly publicized feud, fueled by the tragic death of King Von. Dirk's close friend and collaborator, Vaughn, was killed in a shooting involving Rondo's crew back in late 2020, which sent shockwaves through the hip-hop community. Since then, the rivalry has escalated, with both artists exchanging diss tracks and subliminal messages on social media. Fans on both sides have taken sides, adding more fuel to an already intense fire. The situation has become not just a rap beef, but a matter of pride and loyalty in their respective camps. Now, let's get into the recent allegations against Lil Durk. Reports have emerged that he was allegedly involved in a revenge plot targeting Quando Rondo. While the specifics of the plan remain unclear, law enforcement sources indicate that it could have involved violent retribution linked to Vaughn's death. This plot reportedly came to light during an investigation into various incidents surrounding the ongoing feud. Authorities began to connect the dots between Dirk's movements and certain crimes, leading them to take action before anything could escalate further. The feds moved quickly, arresting Dirk to prevent any potential violence and to ensure public safety. So, what does this mean for Lil Dirk? Being in federal custody is no small matter. Depending on the charges he faces, he could be looking at serious prison time if convicted. This situation not only jeopardizes his freedom, but also threatens his burgeoning career. Lil Durk has seen a meteoric rise in the music industry, with chart-topping hits and sold-out shows. His brand has grown significantly, making him a household name in hip-hop. However, if this alleged plot leads to legal consequences, it could stall or even derail his career entirely. Moreover, this incident could have a ripple effect throughout the hip-hop community, further intensifying the rivalry between Dirk and Rondo's camps. Fans are already speculating how this might affect future collaborations, concerts, and even the overall safety of artists in the industry. Social media is ablaze with reactions to this news. Fans are divided, some are rallying behind Dirk, claiming he's a victim of circumstances beyond his control, while others believe he brought this upon himself with his lifestyle and the choices he made. Several artists have weighed in, expressing concern over the escalating violence in hip-hop and the need for rappers to find more peaceful ways to resolve conflicts. In an era where the music industry is more prominent than ever, many believe that artists should use their platforms for positive change rather than perpetuating cycles of violence. I think maybe he was quiet for a reason. Lil Durk was arrested on Thursday night, October 24th, facing federal allegations that he financed an attempted revenge killing in 2022 targeting rapper Quando Rondo. However, the incident led to the death of Rondo's cousin in a gas station shooting instead. New details emerged as celebrity attorney Bradford M. Cohen discussed Lil Durk's case, suggesting the rapper might be able to contest the murder conspiracy charge. Speaking on Law and Crime's YouTube podcast on October 29th, he commented, When it comes to Dirk Banks, you know, so far, I've seen one text that says, don't have them associate my name with any kind of fights that they're taking. Certainly, that's not a good text, but is that the only text? Because that doesn't, you know, that it in itself doesn't stand on its own. Certainly, it's circumstantial. Currently, the only apparent evidence against Dirk includes this message distancing himself from the travel plans of other OTF members. Bradford Cohen added that, although the text was not a good text, further proof would be needed to substantiate the conspiracy charge against him. The Chicago-based rapper Lil Durk is now detained in connection with the murder for hire conspiracy. Jesse Weber of Law and Crime examined the indictment and charges against Lil Durk and other alleged co-conspirators. Later on Law and Crime's podcast, Bradford Cohen joined to discuss the case. I think that Dirk will still have a defense. I think there's some missing pieces there when it comes to Dirk about how involved he was in this alleged conspiracy. The other guys, where they all have plane tickets, they all got a car, you know, they're on tape. 
That's going to be a very difficult case for those lawyers who have that case. In the video, Cohen explained that although there is no further evidence against Dirk yet, the other guys involved in the case face incriminating evidence like travel records and video footage, which may make their defense more challenging. We've got a lawyer breaking this all down for us. Once you go federal, they, they, they pretty much have their case in chief. Do not pick up a case unless it's a slam dunk. Rapper Lil Durk has been charged in a murder for higher plot targeting fellow musician Quando Rondo, who was allegedly involved in the 2020 murder of King Von. According to prison records, the 32-year-old, whose real name is Dirk Devontae Banks, was arrested Thursday night and is being held without bond at Broward County Jail in Fort Lauderdale, FLA, hours before his arrest. Five men who allegedly have ties to Dirk's hip-hop group, only the family, were indicted on federal charges in Los Angeles involving the same plot to murder Rondo, whose real name is Tyquin Terrell Bowman, per TMZ, Kavon London Grant, Dander Dontrell Wilson, Keith Jones, David Brian Lindsay, and Issa Houston were charged with conspiracy to commit murder for hire, committing murder for hire resulting in death, and carry and discharge of firearms and a machine gun in the furtherance of a crime of violence resulting in death. In the indictment, officials claim the five men planned to kill Rondo in August 2022 as revenge for the death of King Vaughn. Vaughn, who was 26 at the time, was shot and killed by Quando's associate Lul Tim. Prosecutors claim that the five men allegedly used a credit card associated with OTF to purchase plane tickets to Los Angeles in August 2022 to hunt down Rondo. Once in California, Grant allegedly booked a hotel room for the men to stay at and provided them with firearms. He also allegedly rented cars for them to follow Rondo and his cousin Xavier Robinson. While Rondon and Robinson stopped to get gas, Houston allegedly parked in a nearby alley before Jones. Lindsay and a third unidentified man shot at them. Rondo, 25, was not injured, but his cousin was fatally shot. He was 24. Once the shooting was done, the five men met up at a restaurant to talk about payment before the same credit card was used to book flights back to Chicago. Dirk is not named as a defendant in the indictment against the five men. He has also previously shut down claims that OTF is a gang. This is not the first time that Lil Dirk has been charged in connection to a shooting. In 2019, he faced felony charges over his alleged connection to a February shooting. He surrendered to police in May of that same year and he was charged with criminal attempt to commit murder, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, possession of a firearm during commission of a felony, and gang activity. As we look ahead, the question remains, what will happen to Lil Dirk? Will he face serious charges, or will this incident be a wake-up call that leads him to reconsider his approach to the music industry and his rivalries? In the coming weeks, we'll be keeping a close eye on this situation as it develops. What are your thoughts on Lil Durk's alleged revenge plot against Quando Rondo? Do you think he will be able to bounce back from this? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on this and other trending stories in hip-hop. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.